Hi, I'm Henry from Wild Birds Unlimited in Danvers, Massachusetts, and today we're going to put up a bat house. Um, the reason we want to put up a bat house now is because by spring, any of our smells will come off of it. Bats can smell. Unlike a birdhouse, we could put up a birdhouse today. Tomorrow, a bird has no idea we were handling it. Bats will know that we were handling this. So I'm putting it up now here in December uh, so that come spring, it's weathered a little bit, and the more important thing is the smells come off of it. This particular bat house is a little bit thicker than some of our others. This is meant for males and females, so you'll have a breeding colony. And this slot in the front helps a bat recognize that it's hollow. When they fly by this, they don't actually have to fly under it to recognize that it's a hollow cavity that they could go in. This mesh here probably is not necessary. They can really cling on to anything, but this will, will help them hold on to this. They'll climb up inside here and uh, as the day warms up, they'll move up or they'll move down in the house. When it cools, they'll move up in the house and bunch up and keep, keep each other warm. So basically, I've set up a ladder here. This is on the back side of my uh, wood shop. And uh, this is facing east. So this is going to get early morning sun. And later in the day, as the sun moves around, it's going to be shaded. So they won't end up too hot. They like to be somewhere between 95 and 105 degrees. So they want that sun right when the sun comes up. That's when it's the coolest time of the day. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up this ladder in a second and uh, I'm gonna mount this. I just have two screws that I've pre-drilled here and another screw is going to hang it. Um, so this will just take like five minutes to install. So uh, we'll uh, catch up with you in a couple seconds uh, after we uh, install this uh, bat house. Hi, I'm Henry from Wild Birds Unlimited in Danvers and uh, we've installed the bat house facing east so it gets the early morning sun. Later in the day, as we mentioned, it'll be in the shade. And uh, it's made out of cedar, just like the cedar shingles on the side of uh, our shop here. So it's going to weather to a gray eventually. So I don't think you'll even notice it. Um, but what you will hopefully notice is fewer mosquitoes. That's why you put up a bat house. Bats eat in, they say on average, about a thousand mosquitoes an hour. So we're hoping for a few uh, bats and then we'll have a lot fewer mosquitoes. So um, spring is when we hope to see them. They're not gonna become active till we start getting temperatures above 55 degrees. Um, so uh, when that happens, we'll have some bugs active and they'll come back. So uh, we'll keep you posted. The only evidence we're gonna have of bats is maybe some droppings on the ground. And uh, what we could do is come out here right at dusk and hopefully we'll see them pouring out of the bottom of the house. I wouldn't recommend flashing a flashlight up there. You just don't wanna disturb them. So, uh, but we'll keep you posted on our progress with the bats. We're hoping to see some, uh, some residents. Thanks.